Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Thursday, May 28, 2015, and let's get to it. If there was one lesson to be taken away from securing the biggest win of his career and generating a flood of momentum heading into this weekend's Arnold Brazil, for Juan Morel, it was grind harder. And apparently Morel is doing just that. Only a few days away from making the trip to Rio for this weekend's festivities, Morel released a photo reminding us that while Rami may be soaking up all the headlines, he's silently preparing for war. Morel has been on a steady climb up the IFBB ladder for the past few years, but this weekend's contest might be one of the most challenging of his career thus far. Should he somehow manage to eke out the win, rumblings will begin to emerge about whether or not he could potentially challenge for one of the coveted top five spots on the Olympia stage. Despite the fact that he's one of the most decorated champions in the history of the sport, and in the exclusive club of Mr. Olympia Champs, Dexter Jackson still manages to train with a fierce hunger. Over the weekend, Jackson released some footage from a recent arm training session, where we see the blade doing what he does best, getting the job done. Although certain media personalities have tried to write him off for years, the blade is still razor sharp and doesn't appear to be showing any signs of slowing down. On just about any stage, Dexter is a threat to take down anyone and everyone. But with the Olympia lineup being especially deep at the top, you would think Dexter's job gets harder as the years pass. Well, it's just not true for the genetically gifted Jackson. There's a short list of athletes who inspire a collective gasp when you see them. And Jason Hu's name certainly falls somewhere on that list. Despite the fact that it's been over two years since we last saw him take the stage, Hu is still looking as big and nutty as ever. Recently, Hu was spotted getting in a little bit of arm training as he attempts to add even more size and more detail to a physique that's already has some of the craziest proportions in the sport. Although he hasn't given any recent hints as to whether or not he plans on returning to the stage anytime soon, we can say one thing for certain. When he's in shape, Jason Hu is one very dangerous bodybuilder. There was a tank sighting over the weekend at the Red Stick Classic. 212 powerhouse Charles Dixon took the stage looking absolutely enormous and put on a very elegant performance in front of a packed house. Once again, Dixon has managed to make tremendous improvements throughout the course of the season and will be heading into the Olympia 17 weeks from now looking to improve on last year's 10th place finish. The 212 division seems impossibly deep at times, but when he's on his A game, the tank is fully capable of going to war with just about anyone. With less than a week to go before taking the stage at the Arnold Brazil, the million dollar question surrounding Lionel Baiki once again is whether or not he will finally put all the pieces together and nail the look we've all been waiting for. Judging by the most recent photos we've seen, he looks great standing alone underneath the camera lights, but he still seems to lack that extra crisp look that he requires to come in at 100% and bring home the victory. But Baiki is a battle-tested veteran of the sport, and if he has any tricks up his sleeve as we approach one of the biggest contests of the year, now certainly seems like a great time to reveal them. Will Baiki prove to be the wild card surprise in Rio, or will his hand once again prove to reveal the aggravating Joker? And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.